Hi everyone, I'm JD. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, I've finally finished my blue butterfly journals. I know this has been a long time coming. As soon as I got back from holidays, I knew this was another one of my projects that I needed to finish. So here they are. This is the fabric covered one. This is the book cover one. And I also, while I was making these, um, just got a flash of inspiration and ended up creating a third journal for myself in a different style in the Traveler's Notebook style. So I'll do a flip through of this one too. Um, first of all, let me do a flip through of the fabric one. Okay, so this one has my absolute favourite fabric of all time from the lovely Bonnie and Clive. Thank you, Bonnie. She knows how much I absolutely adore this fabric. It's got the twilight colours. My favourite shade of blue is twilight blue. Uh, I call it twilight blue anyway. So it's this, this colour here, pretty much. And yeah, it's just so beautiful. There's the back. And I added a dangle to it with some of my favourite pieces. Um, and there's just butterflies, there's buttons, there's a bead, charms. This was actually from a bracelet that I, I bought from Early Beach years and years ago now. So I like that a bit, bit, of, bit of history. This gorgeous charm that I actually took out of the Beyond the Blue um, journal that I made and added it here because it's too special. I want it on this journal. <laughs> this piece here that says create with a pen, an aqua pen. How cool is that? And it says inspire here. This one, the glitter bottle. Um, what else do we have? I made this little um, cabochon type thing and that was my favourite piece, that charm there. So it is just gorgeous. Look at that felt so so special um, receiving some of these beautiful beautiful pieces um, did I show everything there's a little butterfly there and I love this little charm here and live your dream I got that from my sister-in-law oh and there's that butterfly charm there so very very pretty hopefully I got everything there <laughs> and then let's do a flip through okay and this first of all is an example of something that many of us have done in the junk journal world. Um, I always see posts on the junk journals Facebook groups about how they put something in upside down, how they sewed in a signature upside down, or they put in a pocket upside down, or um, a just one page upside down. Well, you're not the only one. I've done it um, plenty of times, and this was my first time doing it on the cover. So I wanted this to be the front, but I obviously got that a bit wrong here. <laughs> This is an envelope that I cut down and sewed back together to fit in this cover and I was going to put a little card in here to say my note about the journal and how I'm going to use it and all that kind of thing but now it's at the back so that's fine <laughs> and this is then upside down so it was supposed to be like that and I just left it there because you know it's all okay. It doesn't destroy this journal. The journal is still something I adore. I could cover it over if I really wanted to, but you know, the picture, I didn't want to cover, cover the picture because it's the only one I have of that. So um, I might leave it. Who knows? It's all okay. <laughs> um, and then I've got pages here. Um, look at this. I love the, the blue flowers there. So I've got blue birds as well as blue butterflies and flowers in this journal. So look at this cute bunny picture. I love the little bunny. I used to have a, I used to have bunnies when I was a kid. Velveteen Rabbit was one of my favourite books when I was a kid. And um, Monet, I love the water lilies. He's my favourite artist, and his water lilies are my favourite um, my favourite painting from him. So I had to put that in this journal. Love this page here with the blue vase and the flowers. And yeah, there's a lot of coffee dyed pages in here for the writing space. Um, and the great thing about this journal was I managed to choose only coffee dyed pages that came in through the challenge. So not a single one is from me. I intentionally did that so that um, it was more special that way. So this just reminds me of someone's handmade work. It's lovingly done. It's just extra special and meaningful. And you know, just so many people represented in this journal from the Willow Bound Journals community, and I'm just so thankful. And so every time I pick up this journal and look at it, I just feel very um, like so much joy and so much gratitude, and just reminds me of all of you guys and the friendships that I've made, and you know, just meeting people from 
all around the world through journals is I love how journals can bring people together isn't that just amazing you know just this this interest that we both have or that we all have and it connects us and you know just <laughs> I don't know I just love journals in general but that the journals have brought you guys into my life and so many good things into my life it's just like an added bonus that just really really blows me away and I'm just so humbled and, and grateful for it all um, and it yeah just puts a smile on my face seeing things like this the blue flowers and and knowing you know that this came from you guys I mean, like it's just simple paper it's like this is so special just this paper <laughs> um, blue butterfly I love this paper here too um, and so yeah I just chose my favorite pages in here this one came from Lynette and it was a folder but I wanted to make it into a page so I just added some pockets, sewed them in and how cool is this one? It's a card and I love how on the inside and the outside it's really really pretty. I love the blue flowers, it's so cool and I made another little pocket here but as you can see there's no embellishments in it because I like my journals plain and blank unembellished because um, once I know what I'm going to journal about that tells me what to put on the page and I just like the creative freedom where it's just you know I can do whatever I want on the page I'm not limited I love the texture on this page with the lines that's really cool how they did that effect blue wren that's one of my birds <laughs> oh I just love blue and purple flowers they are so cool they're just so so pretty this make me happy <laughs> blue birds make me happy this makes me happy <laughs> journals make me happy Oh my goodness, <laughs> it all makes me happy. Um, a beautiful blue page here. And you know what I didn't realize? Look at this. These are the same, but one looks like a painting and one is, I don't know, are they both paintings or is one just blown up and it's fainter colors or something? But yeah, it's the same picture. And I didn't even realize before I bound it in, but now I'm like, oh, <laughs> I must really, really like that picture. <laughs> And I like this because it says hope and that's one of my words. My name means hope. I love these pages too. I really want to experiment with dyeing different colored pages because it looks really awesome. The aqua page. I love the Edith Holden pages. This was my first time getting Edith Holden pages and having a journal with Edith Holden pages. So I'm like, oh my gosh, this is just so full of special things. And yeah, I love it. I love it, of course, how can I not love it with all these precious pages, you know, that I just was having so much fun collating together and arranging and choosing and yeah, now it's all here and this is my journal, so this is like the most special journal that I own, <laughs> so because of all those pieces represented and all the people represented, so I just thank you so, so much and I hope you like it, I hope you like what I did with everything and um, yeah, I'm sorry it took so long to make it. I just really wanted to make sure I put in the time and the thought to really grab the meaning behind it all and, you know, that kind of thing. I didn't want to rush it. I really wanted to make sure I put it together the way that I really liked it <laughs> and that spoke to me. So, yeah, I'm going to um, stop the video here and I'll come back and show you the flip through of the book cover one. Okay, bye guys.